Hey, John. Uh, it sounds like you were looking into some fixes for an Apple bug related to text messaging. Yeah, John, I, it certainly was. The, the interesting thing is, you know, we, we keep running into situations where rendering foreign language characters uh, has some, some, you know, some effects on the thing. And I, I use the word effects in that regard because remember a couple of years ago, there was an attack called Effective Power where the kids were sending uh, a little Arabic character to each other and it would knock down messages. It's a, you know, a text issue where a certain character could be sent on a mobile machine and it can crash your phone. You know, we don't see a lot of vectors with mobile, with, you know, text messaging. And, and this time it's a, it's an Indian character in the, in the language Telugu, which uh, does the same type of thing. It puts the, the messages app and really anything that renders uh, through WebKit or, or some of the other, you know, mechanisms puts them into basically an, an unusable state. It's, you know, a buffer overflow type attack. It's a problem and a challenge sometimes when you're rendering these, these foreign languages that are very complex. I think, you know, that how do you address that, you know, in a, in a device or a system that was not intended for, for that kind of character uh, set. Apple has patched it. They have, they did release uh, uh, Apple iOS 11.2.6. And uh, so the, if any kids are still out there texting each other with this kind of this, this trick, those devices that are updated are not susceptible to that any longer. So John, I remember last time we were on the show together, we talked about how some Apple devices can no longer receive patches because of the change in the operating system. Would those devices still be vulnerable to this? In this case, it is all the supported versions did receive this update. But if you're running uh, like an Apple uh, 4 or a 3G or any of those old, older devices, you, you, you may be susceptible to this, but nobody's really coming forward and saying, you know, I've tested it, I've re re you know, uh, re reproduced it on there, and you're certainly not going to get a fix. Well, I have an old iPad that's <laughs> end of life or whatever that doesn't oh, get I, patches Oh, I have anymore. a text message to send you. Yeah, you're going to send me one later? <laughs> it's in a different language. You might not. <laughs> I have an iPad too, and, and, and I have the same challenge. You know, it's not supported, and I keep thinking, okay, what can they do to me that I don't necessarily know? You know, I mean, in, in this case, you just you can reboot the device. You, there's a couple other tricks to get around the problem, but it's not going to be as simple as you know, just you know, restarting. It's not essentially harmless because it does crash your machine, and I think it's fairly complex to recover. You have to sort of fill up your screen so that the character doesn't show. Is it just uh, just a matter of it does like a denial of service where if you reboot your phone, you're back to normal again? In a lot of cases, probably the best bet is to have whoever sent you or, or, or have somebody who sent you that thing or another person send you a whole bunch of text messages so it kind of scrolls off of the screen. And this is not the first um, text message no. type bug like this. I remember there was another one a little while back. I don't remember how far back. Yeah, the effect, effective power was what they called it. It was I was actually sitting in a, a baseball game at a, a professional uh, baseball here in St. Louis and, and the uh, <laughs> the kids were doing it all around me. I was in like a school setting, and it, it's, it was uh, it was kind of fun to see it, you know, in in real life, you know, occurring that you know the kids were attacking each other. Mm, that's, mm, great. that's great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm being a little facetious, but it is a little bit of a catch twenty two for me. I think in a safe environment, it's good to test this kind of stuff because that's how we learn about it, right? But doing it as a prank to somebody who doesn't know that this is gonna be happening to them is not a good thing. It could be at a very inopportune time. Maybe something urgent's going on with that person. 